Hi, it's the MLM for the Soul Channel. I do have a new topic for today. Before I begin, I just would like to say, may the words and expressions of my mouth and the thoughts and meditations of my heart find favor and acceptance before you, Hashem. And some people I thank have inspired me. I hope they can inspire you as well. And I will have links below this video to their sites. Say Rabbi Shalom Arash, Rabbi Lazar Brody, Rabbi Yossi Mizrahi, Rabbi Eli Mansur, Rabbi Elon Anava, Rabbi Yuval Ovadia, Rabbi Daniel Asur, Nisim Baruch Black, David Sacht, Rabbi Michael Skobak, Jews for Judaism, Rabbi David Ashir, and Rabbi Ron Ruvain. As well, if you've never checked out this channel before, I will have a link right below this video to my first video that explains what MLM for this all means, what it stands for, what I'm doing. So we're getting closer to the holiday of Pesach. So um, this uh, is appropriate for that, and it's something that you may want to share uh, at the Seder. And this is, again, from a, an insight from... Uh, uh, Rabbi Eli Mansur, on Pesach, so I call this Insights for the Pesach Seder, We Are All Paupers, and you'll understand once we go along and I read to you what it says here. So, towards the beginning of the Seder, before we begin reading the Magid section, we break the middle matzah on the table, uh, uh, not on the table, at the table, <laughs> you don't break it on the table, okay. The Gemara in Masech Pesachim explains that this is done because the Torah in Devarim refers to matzah as lechem oni, which is poor man's bread. And poor people generally eat scraps of bread as opposed to whole loaves. In the Gemara's words, darcho shel ani be perus pruta, a poor person is accustomed to pieces rather than loaves. The Gemara's comment also has a deeper meaning. Elsewhere in Masech Nedarim, the Gemara teaches, ein ani ela be dea, the true quote, poor person, is one who is, quote, impoverished in terms of knowledge. That's an interesting way to put it, right? So in this, in this sense of the term, quote, poor, we are all paupers. So that is hence the title for this video. We all lack knowledge. We see so many things in the world that make no sense to us. Good, innocent people who suffer, evil people who prosper, right? Doesn't make sense. And countless strange events that defy our understanding. Nothing really makes sense to us. We know that. Only Hashem knows. Um, uh, the challenge of emuna, which is faith, is to recognize just how little we understand. The ch um, if, if a person walks into a movie 45 minutes after it started, he will be unable to follow the plot and will think that nothing makes sense, right? Because you came in the middle of things. How would you know what that all means, right? Um... We all came, come into this world well into the, quote, story. Isn't that interesting? We come in like it's already, we had our Mitzvah Yaakov, we had the whole Torah, right? We come in now, um, millennia after Hashem created the world. And we see and know about very little of what has happened, what happens and what will happen. So the past, the present, and, and the future. Our knowledge is very limited. We see everything from a very narrow viewpoint. And so we don't understand. Once we recognize this, so meaning we recognize that we have this narrow viewpoint, we will, um, and so we don't understand. I'm sorry, once we recognize this, uh, I'm sorry, skip that. Once we recognize this, we can trust and feel confident that Hashem runs the world in His perfect wisdom, and everything occurs precisely the way it should, even though we do not understand how this could be. Right? So we see things, all of us see things in our daily lives that make zero sense, and we're like, I don't understand this. You say, like, if you don't understand it, just say, Hashem, just help me get through this. I don't understand what this means. I know you do. I know you know what you're doing. So this is the deeper meaning of the Gemara's uh, comment, Dar Choshel uh, Ani Bepruta. We are, quote, poor, very limited in our knowledge, and so we see only a pruta, which means only a piece, a part of the story. Again, very clever. It makes really, uh, really good uh, sense. So the events we witness and experience are only a very small piece of a large puzzle of Hashem's master plan. And this is why we do not understand why things happen as they do, right? When you see something happen to you, maybe something, Achman al-Atzlan happens, you know, heaven forbid, that's not so good. But that's the small piece of the puzzle. So you've got to look at it in the, as, in the big picture, that it has something that's, that's going to benefit you, although you don't understand it at the time. We therefore break the matzah, keep one piece on the table, and hide the second piece. We remind ourselves that we see only a small portion of what is going on, and the other portion is hidden from our view. Very, very clever as well. So the hidden piece is brought back only at the end of the Seder, symbolizing the fact that at the end of our exile, at the time of Mashiach, speedily in our days, amen, everything will become clear. That's beautiful. I think if people want to write down notes on this to share this at the Seder, it's very nice. Then we will finally access all the hidden information that we are now missing, and we will fully understand everything. 
Until then, we need to strengthen our emunah and firmly trust that Hashem is in full control and has only our best interests in mind. A young child does not understand why his mother holds him down to allow the doctor to give him a shot and cause him pain, right? This doesn't sound nice, right? But years later, however, when the child realizes that the shot saved him from a dozen or so fatal diseases, he thanks his mother. In our current state, we are, quote, blind, like ignorant children. And we do not understand the reason for the pain we sometimes have to endure. Pesach reminds us that the day will yet come when we will have the knowledge we lack now, and that everything will be perfectly clear. The Zohar calls matzah lachma demehemenuta, the bread of faith. The experience of Pesach is intended to bolster our emunah, to remind us that there is so much that we do not know, and to trust that we are always in Hashem's capable hands, and everything He does for us is always only for the best, and that through everything we do, even if we don't understand it, we will merit to live and see the coming of Mashiach, speedily in our days, and the rebuilding of our final and everlasting base, Hamikdash. Amen, and thanks for watching.